So guys, this is the Mac Mini 2020. It's one of the latest releases from Apple and we're gonna do an unboxing. So before we go ahead, just let's talk about the packaging. Uh, Space Gray Mac Mini in the front. I'm guessing that that's the size of the Mac Mini. On the left, it's plain. On the right, it's plain. On the top, it says Mac Mini. On the bottom, it says Mac Mini. On the rear, it gives us details about the product and the serial number. So this is the Mac Mini in the box. Let's go ahead and open it up. That is it guys, that's the Mac Mini and that is the box. So first of all, let's see what comes in the packing. You have your regular Apple kit, some useful information and some leaflets in this box. And on the top you have the charging cables with the UK plug. So the Mac Mini is space gray in color. It comes with this pull tab over here. After pulling that out, it reveals all the ports. On the bottom, it's plastic. It says Mac Mini over here, embossed. On the front, you have the Mac Mini, but it's more black chrome, polished. And on the rear, you have all the ports. So you have USB ports, you have a headphone jack, you have the vent, you have four USB C ports, you have an ethernet port, and you have the power plug. So the finishing of the Mac mini is second to none as with like with most Apple products. So this model is the i5 uh, version. So there were two uh, models which were available. I wanted the i5. Just let you know guys that you need a keyboard and you need a mouse. And of course you need a monitor because uh, it just won't work. And if you have those, then definitely, then the Mac mini is a great option. Uh, this model is the 512 GB SSD it's got inside. It's got uh, 16 GB of RAM and we'll do some benchmark tests and check out the performance on this Mac mini. So let's go ahead and plug it and check out the performance. So finally the Mac mini has been set up and I'm pretty happy by the, the initial setup. Uh, although it's not as fast as my MacBook Pro, which I feel, but that's why I've downloaded the Blackmagic Disk Speed Test. Uh, now let's go ahead and open the Blackmagic Disk Speed Test and check out the performance of the internal drive. So first of all, let's make sure that we have the target disk selected. So apparently the target disk is selected, it's in caches, yeah that's fine. And then what we do is hit start. So as you can see over here, we have 1,762 write speed and 2,528 read speed. Now, what that means is apparently, uh, what I feel that it's even faster than my MacBook Pro because my MacBook Pro speed was much less than that as far as I remember. Uh, and you can see that what it says over here, will it work? So it's going to work on the ProRes Cinema DNG RAW and it supports literally all the, all the formats, which is, which is actually what you want from, you know, for, for, from, a, from a computer. Uh, and the stress test is also for 5GB, which is, of course, that's, that's massive. So you can see over here, the processor is 3 gigahertz, 6 core Intel i5. So that might be one of the reasons and it's got 8 GB of RAM, 2667 megahertz DDR4. Um, that's the storage, and that is the memory, so 4 and 4 GB. And if you are planning to uh, buy this Mac uh, mini, uh, I think that you can go for it, but the only downside is that you would need uh, your um, display, your keyboard, and a mouse to run with it. All right, guys, if you have any questions regarding this Mac mini, let me know in the comment section below, and I'll reply back to you. Alright, thanks for watching and bye for now.